folks, how much worse can the condo market get? I'll get into that and then the latest home prices and insights for condos for the GTA for week ending June the 5th, 2024. You know, you look at any of the data, any of the stats, condo market, it's not in great shape. It's actually pretty bad. Sales trending down. Active listings, the amount of condos available for sale, that number is growing. There's more and more condos sitting on the market unsold. Months of inventory climbing. It's just getting worse and worse and worse. And, and you'll see on, on the charts that I show you shortly. But, but those are numbers on a chart, right? Let me give you a real life experience. Boots on the ground, working with buyers. I have this family, husband and wife, parents and their child. Now the parents are helping their son buy a condo. The parents are also buying a detached property. I'm helping them both. I'm helping the son and I'm helping the parents. The thing is, is when we go look at detached properties for the parents, the son comes along. So all three are out with us looking at the detached properties. And when we go look for condos, all three are together again, mother, father, and son, we're looking at condos. The experience is like night and day. When we're looking at the detached properties, they're looking in a specific neighborhood. They're looking for a specific type of detached property, certain features that lots of people would also find very appealing. And so we have some competitions. There's some properties that sell immediately. Sometimes there's an offer night and, and there's multiple offers on this property. We're not having a, an easy, quick, uh, lots of choices to buy the detached property because of their, their set of needs and, and what they're looking for. That's the detached market. But when we go looking at condos, do you know how long it takes to narrow down the ones we're going to see because there's so many choices? That it, on its own is a mission just to wind it down to the best of the best. Otherwise, our whole career would just be looking at all the different condos that are available to sell. So we narrow it down, lots to choose from. One building, there were three condos we saw all for sale on the same floor. There's so many condos out there. And the agents, the listing agents of the condos, they're calling me. Now, on the detached side, those agents, I'm often chasing them, trying to get information. Sometimes it's difficult to get a call back because of how, how well their, their listing is going. But on the condo side, they're calling me the listing agents. Some of them right away before, before we've even seen the condo are telling me, bring any reasonable offer. Sellers motivated. W you know, what do you think of the, of the pictures? We haven't even seen it yet and they're already trying to get me to put in an offer and, and, and how reasonable and, and how negotiable their seller is. It's like night and day and it's been in the recent history, we've never seen this in the condo market. It's, it's, it's a situation that uh, it doesn't look like it's slowing down. It looks like it's getting worse. When you watch the chart shortly and you'll see the way things are trending, this condo situation in the GTA is getting worse. If you feel this video can help somebody you know, please pass it along. If you get value from what we're talking about, subscribe. And if you want to speak with me about your real estate situation, selling, buying, it's really simple. Up here, there's a link to my calendar. Below this video in the description, there's a link to my calendar. Click on that, book a time that's convenient for you. And we'll talk about whatever's on your mind. Now, let's get into the numbers. Here we go, folks. Condo apartments for the GTA broken down by City of Toronto, York Region, and Peel. These are the condo markets we're going to be discussing when we look at the highs and the low. And 
on the board here for three months. These are average sold prices. The difference between the average price in Peel, which is at the bottom of the run here, and the city of Toronto, there's a $190,000 difference in average sold price between buying a condo in Peel region versus, versus buying a condo in the city of Toronto. Let's start off with Toronto. Four, the city of Toronto, average sold prices and sales for condo apartments. Well, for week ending June 5th, we sold 201 condo apartments. 30 of those were at $1 million or more. If I was trying to pick a trend as far as which way sales are going, I would say to me, sales seem to be trending down. Average sold price is 767. If I was to be looking at a trend for prices, I would also be saying average sold price, even though they're on a weekly basis up and down. Overall, to me, it looks like prices are trending down for condo apartments in the city of Toronto. Compared to last year, 767, it's a little bit lower, about $4,000 lower rounded than where we were this time a year ago, which percentage wise rounded works out to be a 0% change. So average sole price, a little lower, but a 0% change. Medium price year over year, 5% lower this year versus where we were last time, this time a year ago. The dotted line, that's a four week moving average. I'm going back to maybe the middle of April. Average price and medium price do look like they're trending down slightly. 201 were sold. What's trending down also is the percentage selling at list price or more. For week ending June the 5th, it's 27%. 839 were listed. Active listings, it's really starting to grow. Active listings three months ago was 3,189. Now we're at 5,212 active listings. By active listings, this means at the end of the week period, so at the end of June 5th, after everything is bought, sold, terminated, canceled, relisted, whatever the case is, at the end of the week, there are 5,212 actual condo apartments available for sale on the MLS system in the city of Toronto only. We are buying or selling 201, but there's 5,212 available for sale. Lots of choices. That's the whole city. And months of inventory is climbing. We're now sitting at six months of inventory no question we're in a buyer's market when it comes to condos. Here's the city broken down into nine different sections. Now, we're saying that months of inventory for the whole city is six months of inventory. Well, some areas, it's different, right? So for Rexdale, Downsview, not a ton of condos get bought and sold there, but months of inventory there is 3.8. Etobicoke, usually sees a bit more condos being sold than we do in Rexdale, but that's 7.9 months of inventory. High Park, 24 condos got sold. We do see some volume of condos being sold in, in High Park, Parkdale area. 3.9 months of inventory. That's much lower than the, obviously, than the six months of inventory. But let's focus on the downtown. So downtown core right here. Uptown, uh, sorry, Midtown, then Uptown. Let me say, if we look at active listings, 63% of all active listings for the city of Toronto are found right here between Downtown, Midtown, and Uptown. And if we focus just on Downtown, 39% of the whole city's active listings, 39% are in the downtown core. This is Bloor Street, lower the downtown core. And if we're only selling 66, well, 3.3% of the 2017 active listings are selling every week. So 3.3% out of all condo listings are selling right in the downtown core. 
and the months of inventory for downtown is sitting at 7.1. So if we're saying six is a buyer's market, 7.1 is more aggressive as a buyer's market. Let's take a look at condos for York region. 44 condos were sold. Look, to me, it's even if it's just a little bit, it looks like sales are trending up a little bit. Five of those were at $1 million or more. Average sold price is sitting at 704. If we look back to the beginning of the year and then we're looking at February, March, April, kind of look like prices might have been trending up a little bit. And now they're hovering around 700,000. 704 is 2% lower than where we were this time a year ago. The median price is also 2% lower. And like I, I just finished saying, for a while, prices were trending up. Now they look like they're trending down. 44 were sold. 30% of those sold at list price or more. Listings jumped up over the previous few weeks to 152 condos being listed in York region. Active listings is climbing. Months of inventory up a bit from the previous week to 4.1 months of inventory. Pretty much right in the middle of a balanced market. Peel region, 37 condos were sold. One of those was at $1 million or more. Average price, $577, up by $2,000 from the previous week of $575. It kind of looked like prices were sloping up before, but for the last few weeks, they've come down and for a couple weeks now, hovering around $575, $577. 577 is 12% lower year over year. The median price is 7% lower. And the dotted line actually shows prices were a bit flat, but now starting to trend down. 31 were sold, 24, sorry, 37 were sold, 24% sold at list price or more. Listings are up, 147 active listings climbing months of inventory although it's down it's still pretty much balanced market at 4.5 months of inventory here's a quick summary city of toronto sitting in a buyer's market york region peel region pretty much a balanced market there's not too many spots you're going to see more resemblance of a seller's market when it comes to condos lots of balanced market situations lots of buyer's market situations. That doesn't mean some condos are not gonna sell with multiple offers. Just because we say multiple offers or a condo's being offered for sale with an offer date doesn't mean it's a seller's market. It means their pricing is so low, it's gonna attract buyers no matter what type of market is in, and they're gonna compete and they're gonna buy. There's fewer examples of that, but they're there. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.